Before doing any lighting work, you can change your camera mode to a lighting preview to get instant feedback. In CS2, the Light Omni from Half-Life Alex has been replaced with the new Light Omni 2. Like in Source 1, you can freely control the colour and set the brightness with the lumens key value, however you may find it easier to use the colour temperature mode, which provides a scale from orange to white to blue in Kelvin. You can also change the shape of the light, which defines the surface the light is emitted from. The details of this shape can be changed in the shape section. For example, the outer and inner angle can be used to focus the light in a specific direction. The cookie subsection can be used to apply a texture to the light, such as a flashlight or window slats. We can also make the light change over time. Change the direct lighting mode from static to stationary, then go to the style section. Some of the presets here include flickering and strobing. Another new light entity added in CS2 is the Light Rect. This entity allows you to define an area that shines in a specific direction. The third new light entity is the Light Barn. It has many similar settings to control how it looks. The fourth new type of lighting comes in the form of emissive materials. These can be used on both meshes and props, although I won't be able to preview them as I don't have a ray tracing graphics card. To use emissive materials, go to the object's properties and then under Render Properties enable emissive lighting and set a boost value. You can control the light's colour using the object's tint key value. To improve the quality of lighting computations, create a new mesh in the area of interest and set its material to Tools Light Map Res. This tells the compiler to spend more time calculating the lighting in this area at a higher resolution. The mesh doesn't need to be precisely aligned with the space it's in, as the compiler will gradually decrease the resolution further away from the mesh. You can hide these by disabling the Light Map Space Viz group under Tool Brushes. Remember to turn it back on before compiling.